my crafty friends, Laura here, excited to share a layout with the latest Lollipop Box Club kit. This kit is called Spring Garden and it's so pretty. So I'm going to be using one of the patterned papers from the kit. Um, it's this gorgeous pink grid, I'm just trimming it down slightly. I've got three photos. And the idea is to make this pink grid paper into a shaker pocket. Um, what you see there underneath the netting is uh, like tissue paper confetti blossoms. Really pretty. Thought I'd try and add some sequins in with them. I don't like these ones. I'm going to take them out and uh, switch them for some other more pastel coloured ones. Um, these confetti blossoms are oh, beautiful. I could use a whole pack of them. They're just really delicate and thin and just so pretty. It reminds me of um, there's a place in Winchester that's just lined with trees that are always just packed full of blossom and the, the floor is just carpeted with all the petals. Beautiful. Right, so I am using super sticky double sided tape and I'm folding the tulle over. It would maybe have been an idea to sew it, but I think this works. I am, um, I've got ME, I don't know if you know that, I can't lift the sewing machine on my own and I couldn't be bothered to wait for someone to come and lift it for me, so I'm just using tape. Um, it's, uh, it's a, a cheats method, I guess. You do lose out on the texture of the stitching but it does keep it, um, all of those shaker pieces inside. So I'm going to add some more tape just to make doubly sure. But um, yes, it, it showed no signs of wanting to not hold the netting. So I think, I think it'll be good. So the photos I'm using are of me and my budgie and she's very cute. She'll sit and she'll chat. Mainly budgy, there are a few human words thrown in. Um, she'll say, love you, and uh, she says both my nephew's names, but not on command. She just does them mixed in with all their other little cheeps and whistles and chirps and things. As the layout is all about Henley, it would be nice to include some of her feathers having a molt at the moment and you, you walk into her room and the, the floor around her cage is just covered with feathers which again ties in with the blossom and my um, memory of Winchester Street. In the kit there is this tiny little tea bag and it's got a label on the front that says find beauty or seek beauty every day and um, Henley is my beauty. I uh, I have a magnifying glass and I look at her feathers through them and they're just stunning when you look at them close up. I'm going to mat my photos with a bit of tissue paper and a bit of a bag, part of the packaging from the kit. Um, I tried to take the label off the bag without tearing it and I failed. So I'll cut the top of the bag off, which I'm using here. Um, but the bottom of the bag is whole and can be used for gift wrap, which is what I tend to do with my bags. Um, just pop a present in, add some ribbon and a fancy handmade tag. I'm adding some foam behind my photos. I like the depth and the dimension, especially when you've got messy layers like this. And the tissue is so thin, it kind of crinkles up and... I like my, my dimension. Now, I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. How am I going to fit all this on the page? I don't want to cover up all of that grid shaker. So I shuffle and I move and I think and I shuffle. I'm going to cut my page down. Um, I have a 9 by 12 album as well as 12 by 12 albums and I think 
this page is going to suit 9x12 better. Also, I add 9x12s in with my 12x12s. Um, just mix up the page protectors and gives a nice eclectic album. So this is going to go in the centre of the page and the photos are going to layer on top of it. And unfortunately that does cover up most of the shaker, but you still see it, you still get the effect of the confetti and sequins in there. It's okay to cover things up. I know that you think, well, you've just spent all that time making and creating something really pretty and then you're just going to go and cover it up. I know it's under there though, so it's okay. I th think many people find the same with mixed media. Spend all your time working and making this pretty thing and then put a photo on top and embellishments on top and you cover it up. But I think that's fine, that's just part of scrapbooking. Now I'm going to try and layer in a few things. Um, there's some postage stamps in the kit which are sort of vintage-y. I just, I didn't feel they went with these. With this, um, I don't know, it's got a delicate feel and then a vintage postage stamp just felt a bit weird. I am going to include a little bit of craft though. The two tags in the kit. I'm um, going to use both the tag tops. I tried to put them both down the lower right and it made it too heavy so I've moved one up to the top left. Sorry, I get my lefts and right mixed up. Um, so a bit of craft in, in either corner just um, felt like it balanced the layout a bit better. I'm going to use two of the little word snippets. One says a little birdie told me and the other one says Shh, it's a secret um, which I felt were worked really well with the photos. I'm now attacking the Mrs Brimble's sticker sheet, um, adding some flowers, some leaves. I'm going to add a butterfly and a little bee as well. A little tiny bee, gorgeous. And I think I'm finished. I'm not though. I, uh, I go off, I take my nail varnish off, I repaint my nails and then I look at it and think, no, it needs a title. So I'm going to add Let's Chat down the bottom with some foam sticker, foam thickers, um, and then I'm going to call it done. So thank you for watching. Do check out this Lollipop Box Club kit. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I do know that I say that every month, but it's true. They're just gorgeous. So thank you for watching. Um, like and subscribe and all that jazz and I will see you in the next video. Bye!